Alma. I am so excited to have you here. It is a Friday night. And we are going to go grab dinner and then I'm so excited. We're going to go to a haunted hayride and a haunted house. We are headed to Spooky Ranch that is in Columbia Station, Ohio. So my little one loves Halloween and so do I. Uh, I've been waiting, I feel like her whole life for her to ask to go to a haunted house. Uh, and the time has come. I don't know how it's going to go. This is uh, more kid friendly. Uh, they have two houses that are not kid friendly. We're not going to do those. Those are recommended for 11 and up and she is almost six. So we got a few years. Uh, but we are also uh, in a few weeks headed to Cedar Point Hello Weekends and if she wants to we are going to let her try out those haunted houses. Uh, I cannot film on the hayride or in the haunted house so this video is probably going to be pretty short. But I did want to just film a little bit, film what I could. Our first stop is going to be Texas Roadhouse for dinner uh, and then we're going to get ready to go get scared. I can't wait to have you come along with us. So based on this parking lot, we are probably not going to be able to eat here. The wait at Texas Roadhouse was going to be too long, but we found this cute little drive-in, so we're going to try it out. I don't know how well you can see this, but here's the menu. The food did not take long at all to come out. I got fish and Sarah is already digging into her burger. worse at documenting food, but here's Justin's burger and cheese fries. We are on our way out of the parking lot, and look, they have a fire. How cool is that? Oh, they also have a dog park. That's awesome. So, getting dinner was quite the adventure. So, we love driving. So, we went into there, Doodle's driving. Uh, we had started out in our car, but... We asked if we could go to the restroom and they looked at us like, yeah. Um, so when we went in, they actually had seating inside. It was very nicely decorated. Uh, the staff was friendly. Outside, they even had like a fire pit and a dog park. So that was cool. I don't know how I felt about the food. Uh, the fries were delicious. Definitely handmade, so good. My fish, I don't know. It was an extremely mild fish. And I was expecting something like haddock or something, um, and that wasn't it. Uh, but Sarah really liked the fish. She ate most of my fish, so we still got our money's worth. Actually, she's sitting in the back seat eating the rest of it now. Um, Sarah and Justin both got burgers, and they liked them. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. It's definitely worth stopping, and they had more than just burgers and fish. They had all kinds of things. I tried to show you the menu. I don't think I flipped it over, though, so I only showed you half the menu. But I would stop there again and try something else. Now we have like an hour drive ahead of us, but through the magic of editing, we'll be at Spooky Ranch in just a second. So I can't wait to take you in there with me. We are about a minute away from pulling in and I'm so excited. I absolutely love haunted attractions. If you've been following me for a while, you know we went to one last year, but we didn't actually go in any haunted houses, so I'm excited to get to go in one. Here we are. It's actually a little busier already than I thought it would be. It is rainy out, a little chilly, and they are just now opening up. But that's okay. It doesn't look overly busy. Uh, I can't wait to see what else the night has in store for us. to line up to get our tickets. You can also buy tickets online so you don't have to wait, which I wish we would have done, but we didn't. The hayride was great. Now we're just going to look around a little bit before we go into the haunted house.
The house was fun. Now we're going to look around for just a minute and then we will be headed home. I hope you enjoyed that short video. It's actually the next day now and we are headed to film something else. But before we go, I just wanted to say how much fun we had at Spooky Ranch. They were recently voted like one of the best haunted houses in the country and I can agree with that. Uh, at one point a clown like fully launched out at my daughter and it did scare her. Um, so then he uh, crouched down and gave her a high five and she's been talking about it since then. She said the clown scared me but he gave me a high five. Uh, but the, uh, the kid friendly package they have with the hayride and the one haunted house was not by any means terrifying. It was good for most kids. Um, I'd say five and up, but I saw younger kids there. There was a little girl in line that my daughter was playing with and she was two. Uh, so it really depends on your kid, but I definitely recommend getting out to Spooky Ranch. I'm gonna try to get this video out within the next few days, so you'll still have plenty of time to check them out. If you are new here, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you later.